Hey guys, what's going on? DreamReaver23 here, and uh, doing another Let's Look At series uh, that will probably be going, I, I it will most definitely be going on into a Let's Play, but uh, not sure how far it's going to be going into it. Uh, so I guys, want to guys welcome, I want to welcome you guys back to uh, another Let's Look At series. Today we're looking at Railroads Online, as you can see in the subject down here somewhere, or the title of the video. Um, this is in alpha, uh, early access, and uh, it is available on Steam. I believe the game is uh, 30 bucks on Steam. I, I could be wrong on that, but I want to say it was 30 bucks. Um, it is a, uh, a sandbox uh, transportation system, but uh, the one thing that's really big about it is that the trains and the cars and stuff like that are all physics-based, uh, so you do get a lot of actual, um, I don't know, fun physics to deal with. But also because it's in alpha, there's a lot of bugs as well. Uh, we are going to be checking this out. And uh, I did a poll the other day on uh, the length of the videos and everything like that and how much editing out and stuff like that. Uh, and it did come back to where it was kind of mixed reviews on there. So I'm going to be making these videos to where they're about 30 minutes long. Um, I look at it as a side of I personally, because I'm working from home now, my, my work computer is literally right here beside me. Um, I go through and have videos on in the background. Uh, that are not super crazy, like uh, intense or very distracting, or whatever, but something that I can go through and have going up and um, playing in the background. And that's my kind of thought, thought process for it uh, between a lot of the kids that are still like uh, doing school from home, um, a lot of people that are working from home, and people that kind of want to just have something on in the background where it's not terribly distracting, but it's something they can enjoy and watch and kind of like watch on their own kind of uh, time. So. That's my thought process for it. Um, I know that many of you are asking, Dream, what's up with that mustache? And I know, it's amazing, right? I, I'm absolutely enjoying it. Uh, I decided to bring back the handlebar. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we'll see how everything goes. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right in on this. Uh, as I said, this game is in early access. It's an alpha phase, so there is bugs and everything like that. And there is just a lot of things to where the functionality for some things might be there, but the way it's executed is not the best. So I'm going to go through and uh, <clears throat> Reaver Farm, Reaver, Reaver Rails, just make one, uh, just make it to where it's one player and that's, that's, a, that's a bit long of a password. Let's, there we go. And start server. So we don't have uh, anything going on on here. So Starting this up, it's it's uh, going to kind of bring us in on here. You do have my FPS up in the top left to go through and show how it's running. I am running a 3070 Ti, uh, but also with the streaming software going through. I'm using XSplit to go through and record this. So it kind of gives you an idea of where we're at on there. Well, hello, little, little, little Betsy. Uh, there are a few other things, uh, other people that have uh, done videos on this, and that's actually what kind of got me interested in the side of it. Uh, so we do have some functionality. We're actually going to go over here to options and look at controls so you can kind of see what they are. WASD to move, uh, space bar to jump, left shift to sprint, uh, left control to crouch, T and R to lean, right? So those are, are, are pretty, 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 pretty regular. Open and close regulator is, is three. Tackle vehicle UI. G to open the construction menu. M for map. P for player statistic. statistics. I will use my words someday. And then continue. Uh, different things like that right there. Like, I can't just hit escape to go back out. I have to hit continue right here. Those are the things that are just like small things that are a bit tedious. There is no auto run. Like, I have to hold shift to run. Outside of that, I walk at this the pace makes sense for the for the driver if you're wanting to just drive or just to walk but also in that same sense like most games you can go through and hit like caps lock to and like i can't just hit escape here i actually have to click hit the close button hitting caps lock to uh change to to auto run it would be nice it would be nice v goes through and changes your camera mode um i do like it in the first person perspective if you get close to your your uh, engine you can actually uh, see this little pop-up on here to go through and it says F to enter vehicle and then whenever you enter the vehicle it's uh, right here so this is actually like you're you're a part of the vehicle but you don't have any control over it you can also control the vehicle from inside here 
without ha without hitting F. So if you hit F again while you're in that menu, it will go through and you know pop you out. <clears throat> um, but you do have the ability to go through, and if you actually look here, like so, if we uh, in the top left it says regulator, left mouse button plus drag left is to open, and you can actually see. Uh, reverser. Let's put that for forward for now. The brake is at 21%. We can put that up to 100. What are you making noise for? Uh, so yeah, you have your regulator, your reverser, which can give you 100% forward or back I, I don't know why there's a certain amount I mean it seems like you would always want to be 100% forward or back you have your cylinder cocks open and close I'm not sure what the cylinder cocks actually do I know that's the ones that make it go out the side right here uh, and then you have things like your uh, water bucket. And then it tells you what to do over each one of them, right? So left mouse button, drag left or right to open and close or up and down. And then right here is where your sand is. Uh, and this is your sander, right? So to go through and... Uh, sanding is for traction of your, if you if you guys are not familiar with trains, sanding is for traction control. Um, so if you're going over rails and they're wet or you're going up a hill or it's cold or fucking whatever, uh, you can use sand, put sand down on the track and it actually look like it literally comes down, uh, right here and we'll just drop sand on there. So if we go through and pull that open, you can see sand being dropped down on the track. And now there's no sand. Yay! Um, linking the cars together, I know, is a really big pain that a lot of people don't like to deal with. Uh, so here is your... This is a freight car. And uh, if you go towards the middle of it, you can actually see... Left mouse button, drag them down to unload and load. Okay. Uh, this is your brake. And you can see right here, left mouse button, drag left to open. And left mouse button, drag right to close. So... If we go through and do that now the brake is actually loose it's it's closed or it's open so there's no brake applied uh, this is your water tower and you can actually see how much water is in there <clears throat> and then if we go through and hit son of a bitch hit G this is your construction menu right so you can bring up rails uh, <laughs> And then G actually goes back to your your back menu. What does respawn do? Huh. Uh, bridges and steel trestle bridge. Facilities. Now we have a water tower already. We don't have a sand house. And then there is a firewood depot. Oh no. I don't want you right there. Demolish. Demolish. I said demolish. Apparently we can't demolish it. So our sand house is over there. Actually, two seconds. And voila, it's gone. I mean, totally had to redo it. Uh, so let's talk about uh, what you do in this game, right? So if we pull up the map, 
we start off here. We have the freight depot, which is right over here. You can see it off in the distance, and it's where you go through and sell different bits of freight. Um, you can see that we have some trees on the track here, but uh, if we look at the freight depot, there's a sawmill, there's a logging camp, a smelter, iron ore mine, coal mine, refinery, iron works, and, and oil field, right? So everything's kind of in a mingle, intermingled. You can go through and make a train line over to the logging camp, and then you can go through and bring logs back to the freight depot to sell them to earn money. And if we actually put up our P menu, you can see that we are level one. Uh, we have $2,000 uh, in funds. We don't have any XP right now. Uh, but the more things that we do, right? So if I go into uh, do logging, right? And I cut down this tree. I got five XP for it, and it cost me two bucks to cut down the tree. I cut this one down too, because it's just too close to the rail. And you, and you, and you. And you get out of here. Ah! Try to take me out. You saw that? All right. So we got some of these cleared. I don't like you being right there by that spot because we need to be able to see it clearly. And you're too close. So that cost me eighteen dollarinis, but it was worth it. Uh, we got 45 experience. So you'll gain levels, and I don't know if that's something that's – I, I don't think there's anything that's really implemented at this point in time for that because if we go back to our G menu, locomotives, uh, we have the flat car, flat car tier two, the hopper. And so they tell you what they're good for <clears throat> and their weight and everything like that. Tanker, box car, hand car. Ah, oh, just precious. Just precious. It's 150 bucks. I actually would like one of these. I'm going to order that. Now, where to go? Oh, there it is, you little precious thing, you. Oh, wee, wee. That's as fast as I run, too. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. What do we got here? F enter vehicle. I think you can actually control this without it, but break off. I want to go forward. How fast can this bad boy get going? I got no whistle. I mean, I think this rate is about as fast as walking, but at least we're doing it with style. Oh, yeah, and you have to, like, stay on it. Oh, there's the brake. Is there a way to control this from here? Apparently, I can't do nothing on here. I like how it says water level and boiler level. Like, boiler pressure is 120. I wonder if that's just how it's set or if this is just a default one for everything. Like, bro, it's a hand car. I don't need none of that. Alright, so if we hit Y, we can actually turn off this screen. And just... Be out there on the open rails. Go ahead and slow her down. Okay, so that's cool. Bro, just let me have, like, running all the time. Even as an option. Is there anything in the options? Controls, graphics, language. Nope. Controls, it's nothing. Got you. Yay! So that's my uh, graphic settings on here. 
1920 by 1080? What is this? Blasphemy. So, um, that is your basics of kind of controlling and starting up. Now, as I was saying earlier, uh, the big thing is you want to go through and basically get these to where they're all interconnected and, and mingling, right? So you can go through and bring the stuff from the logging camp directly to the freight depot, or you can bring it over to the sawmill and go through and get stuff from the sawmill brought over to the freight depot. Probably, I'm assuming, for more money. Um, the smelter is way up there in the north. My assumption is you probably need to bring stuff from the iron ore mine and the coal mine up to the smelter so it can go through and get smelted, and then probably bring that down to the iron works or the refinery and the oil field. Probably stuff from the oil field to the refinery. So, first thing that I want to do is I want to go through and get a a track laid from here and then have a track going from the logging camp to the sawmill that also connects to the freight depot, so basically a, a big Y uh, or like a triangle kind of intersection. Uh, so let's talk about what we need to do foist. And uh, one of the things is that we need to actually make it to where we can get close to this uh, depot. But foist off, let's talk about some stuff he is. All right, so. As you can see right here, there is a trail that goes along uh, this path. We'll just go through and cut down some trees while we're doing this. There is a trail that comes along this path, and you can see that it looks different because it's like gravel versus the grass. Um, and if we look, it looks like it goes, and right here, as you can see, it starts to like, there's a difference in the elevation right there. So, this is under groundwork and you can go through and have variable grade and constant grade and you can have variable stone wall and constant stone wall i haven't messed with either of these yet i haven't done much except for trying to go through and watch some videos to understand how to control the damn train if i'm honest if i'm honest okay so uh we're gonna go through and do like the one right here with constant grade and this one is basically if you've ever played any sim game like uh um city skylines or or, or sim city this goes through and takes it from the elevation that you started off from and makes it that constant elevation. So we want to go back and make sure that it's a good elevation that we're good with. And I'm not sure how far out it can go. Apparently a good ways. far can this go all right so that is the limit I don't even know if it's straight anymore I don't even know where I am on the map uh, let's see X and Y at a curve radius X Oh, look, you can see it right up there. Uh, so 10 degrees is 10 for every 100 feet. Let's get closer and see what this does. This first episode is literally going to be us trying to go through and figure shit out. That didn't do anything. Now I should be able to go through and demolish. Yep. So I demolished that. And I demolished this. No, this is kind of just set in the ground. I can demolish that. So this is your uh, switches, your switch rails. So if you go right here, you can actually left mouse button and drag left to right so we're going to drag right to go through and switch it that way and you can see that it opens up and changes 
how this one goes. So if we watch this part right here on the on the mark, you can see it opening out. So that would make it, if you were going this way, it would actually bring you on this side. You would go left onto this waterway. And if you had it the other way, you would go right. And then there's another one right here. So we can make it to where this one goes right. But I digress. Right now we need to go through and figure out how to uh, get some track laid and get some uh, groundwork done. So I do like the idea of this being a constant grade. Let's do rails first. So this is a three foot rail. Now, one thing to notice is that if you get close enough, it has this chain that comes up, a link. So that makes it to where it starts from that area. And this is a much smaller section. And it will continue out. So we will go through and do Y, no. Curve radius 10 degrees over 100 foot. What happens if. Rails. Switch left. Three foot deck rail. Wait, where's my, where's my thingy? I lost, I lost my little thingy up top that tells me. Wait, was it Y? No. T? No. Come back to me. Where are you? So there's a little glitch in there. Just dealing with the uh, bit of the Down. See, that's pretty, that's pretty, like, rough, that angle right there. Apparently, it has to be in first person to get uh... Oh, well, it's back now. Sweet. Okay, so left alt toggles curve radius. So if we bring this up. So they actually made a curve. Like that made one to where you could actually see it.
So if I do x, okay, well, shift x gives you like fine detail. Does control x do anything? No. Forty-five degrees. This should give us. Okay, well that's that's doing something. I know a lot of you might be have watched other videos and be like, ah, oh, Dream, you got to do it just like this. I try not to go into too much depth because the whole part of a you know fun part of a game is exploration. If you just know how to do everything right off the bat, then it's no fun. What's the direction? I need to go that this direction. So how far out do we want to come from the freight depot? Probably a decent ways. Let's do this. Use this as our gradient height. Try a pretty good, pretty good length right there. So let's just go through and grab our rails Link. see now why am I getting it on this side if I go back over here not getting it if I change my camera view P to pull up the little player menu I'm just trying to see how I got that the view back Uh, decently straight. All right. Now, just because we can. Let's go grab our hand car. And take the brake off. And move forward. My character, we should call him Old Jim. Come on, Old Jim. Oof, you can see some curve in that track. What the? Is it not set right? What What did I do? Oh. It's not set right. <laughs> so now I should be able to question mark? Off to work on my hand car. Woo! Now, I'm going to show you what happens if you go off and you derail. You can go over here to re-rail. Select the hand car, and then if we come over to on top of the track, uh, you can you can move it over here. And then also, if you hold the left mouse button down, 
you can rotate the car clockwise. Uh, and then right mouse, but right, right mouse button will go through an exit from where that's at. So <sighs> it's a lot to take in uh, to go through and get started off. And, and right now, I think the more the biggest uh, errors that I see going on, I won't say errors. The biggest things that can use improvement are things like the walk speed. Which, granted, I guess if it was super fast, you wouldn't need to go through and have the train. Uh, some of the control functionality while you're inside the car, I know, is, is, is not the funnest to deal with. Uh, and then just that fine tuning for different stuff for um, making ensuring you have straight lines, things that disappear, like some of the menu screens that disappear uh, off of the, like whenever going through and plopping down track or groundwork. So there, there are things that, that can definitely be improved with the game. And it's still an alpha. Like, they are going to be working on a lot of this stuff. Uh, one thing that I would like to see, so I have for my flight simulator, because I have Microsoft Flight Simulator, I have, like, the uh, the yoke, and I also have the Logitech, like, the, the um, power and mixture and, and prop speed and everything like that, the, the controls, the quadrant the, right there. Uh, and it's just a little three-part one, but I'm like, you know, if you look inside, at least Betsy here, for this train, you have three controls, really, right? You have the brake, the reverser, and the regulator. Well, give me something so I can go through and have that controller and be able to map it to the brake, the reverser, and the regulator so I can actually control it from here because that would be awesome! Uh, and then have other things where you can go through and be like, ah, pull on the, 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 the ding ding for the bell or something like that. I don't know. Stuff like that I think would be really cool. Uh, just a thought. I, I would love to see something like that happening with the uh, the game. But uh, we'll be going through and seeing what kind of updates there are. Uh, I am going to wrap it up there. Shut up, Bell. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up for right there. Uh, for now, guys, um, in the next episode, I will go through and, and get some more of this track built out. And like I said, we are going to be going through and building uh, out to the logging camp and the sawmill. And so we can bring stuff back down the freight depot. I know that this episode, the train didn't actually move at all. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things like, yeah, we give you pace yourself. Anticipation or something like that makes the heart grow fonder. I don't know. Anyways, uh, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope that you guys uh, did enjoy the series uh, or ha are going to enjoy the series. Did enjoy the series. Uh, the last series that we did was the uh, gas station simulator. A lot of people really liking that game. Uh, I haven't done much with it because I haven't seen a whole lot of big new stuff come out with the game. Um, and so right now I'm at a spot to where it's just like it's, you're not really doing a whole lot with it. But... Uh, I'm going to check out this game. If you guys do want to go through and pick this up on Steam, I'll, like I said, I think it was like 30 bucks or 25 bucks. Um, but we'll sit here and mess around with it a bit. I might go through and talk my buddy Panda into getting the game uh, to go through and kind of help me build out some tracks. He likes he likes simulation games. So, Panda, if you see this, um, I'm looking at you. I might be seeing what we can do about this one. But uh, I do think it's interesting. I, I like the concept for it. It's It's a transportation game without the crazy um you can only do certain things kind of stuff this is just an open sandbox uh, simulation i am really interested to see what they with the uh folks uh the developers go through and, and do with it and how the cycle is going to go how the how the uh release cycle is going to go forward if they're going to be doing a monthly updates quarterly updates you know just just whatever it is so uh but that's gonna wrap it up for this time guys until next time this is dream river 23 reminding you to game happy i love you all and i will see you all Later. Bye, guys.